I got a bit of an update for the uh, the lawsuit against the insurance company who are uh, basically messing about with uh, Shay's claim because of the uh, the collision that she had back in uh, what was it? It was back in September. Quick recap for those of you who don't know: Shay's on her way home from school, and uh, as she's riding home on a like a two-lane, like sorry, four-lane highway, just a typical thing, you know. A car basically is crosses the road from her left to right, right in front of her. She didn't stand a chance. She uh, tried to avoid him, but eventually smacked him into the back of, like near his rear tire. Now Dean, her 2015 Vulcan, this didn't seem like it had much damage to begin with, but then we found out that it bent the frame, so it was a write-off. Would have cost about like six and a half, seven thousand dollars to repair. So um, after the police came back with their report to say that it was the other driver's fault and that uh, he's liable, the insurance company offered us like um, some, I was going to say some dismal amount, I mean it's, it wasn't a great offer. We were expecting something and considering the fact that there weren't any real second hand Vulcan S's of the same year that we could get for the same price, we ended up having to get her a brand new one, that's why she's riding around a Lucifer. So. So we went to uh, a lawyer to say, hey look, what can we do about this, you know, we, we wanted a certain amount, we understand that they, they, we can't, they can't make them liable to pay for a brand new 2017 Vulcan S when it was a 2015 Vulcan S that like went down. I get that, but at least meet as part of the way, because it's not just the cost of the bike or the tax and title, like buying a brand new bike or like buying any brand new vehicle, you've got things like you know, you've got freight charges, documentation fees, notary fees, you've got all these extra charges. And I was saying, well, you know, if we'd have gone second hand, we wouldn't have had to pay all of that, but, you know, you've kind of twisted our arm, we've got no choice. So, lo and behold, uh, they were like, you know what, if you don't like it, go to your insurance company and then they can take us a call. Well, the insurance company, were, our insurance company was saying, nah, we, we can't do that, you don't have that kind of coverage where we would have paid it for you, not the fully comprehensive. So of course I'm like, well, okay, lawyer. So we lawyered up, the lawyer was like, well, you know what, if they're not gonna pay anything decent towards the bike, you know, how long was she limping for? How long was she in pain for? How long was she like needing to use the wheelchair from school? Yeah, it was, it was a few weeks though. She was like, you know, she wasn't in the best of health because of that. She was pretty banged up, but not severely, but enough to make her very uncomfortable. What's going on here? I knew it was going to do that. Sometimes you just got to pick a lane and stick with it, whether it's going fast or slow. Bouncing in between lanes like that is dangerous. And that's probably what causes accidents. Anyway, going back to uh, Shay's issue. I got an email from the lawyer with uh, like basically I got carbon copied on like a, a email that he sent to the other insurance company saying you know what you offered two grand I want five for personal injuries just because you didn't go to the doctors just because you decided to tough it out doesn't like negate you from your responsibilities so there you have it so that's where we are right now you know where we are wanting something decent, they're going to fight to get a few extra grand on top of that. That'll pay off Shay's new bike, that'll basically, that'll help out with some of the charges and the bills. Got a bit of a traffic jam going on this morning, I wonder what's happened. It's like, how much you want to bet someone had a bash? Thank you Mr. Driver ahead of me, giving me lots of heads up that you're going to do a turning and I'll do the same and everyone's happy. Anyway, I think what's the most annoying about all of this is that it's been, it's been over six months now since that. 
Now, if we were desperate for money, if like, you know, really, really skint, you know, living literally paycheck to paycheck, and that was the only form of transport, you know what I mean? They, they sort of rely on people being desperate enough to take whatever, because they need the money now. We're not hurting as bad as we could have been. So we could afford to wait. But anyway, that's uh, Shay's uh, situation in a nutshell. And so I'm going to harp on to everyone here. Look, do yourselves a favour. If it's within your means, get yourself some fully comprehensive insurance. Because even if it's like the other guy's fault, your insurance will pay your bills and then charge the insurance company of the third party. So if it's within your means, do that. Six and a half hours later. So two cars in succession. I've seen three cars jump through red lights now. Now I don't know if those lights were broken or something. But you do not go jumping through red lights. If it's stuck as red, then fine. Turn right or you know to get away from it all. To do what you just did there, or to do what those two people did there was just like dangerous and illegal. Regardless. I just found out the other day that my insurance rate is going up 20 extra dollars a month. No tickets, no at fault accidents or anything. $20. I called the, the insurance company and asked them why. Now it's just prices are going up. It's just the way it is. Still, what can you do? I mean, you could just pay it, do whatever you those little niblets those little handouts for like get a percentage discount you know they'll up your rates by twenty dollars but oh, if you go through and jump through some hoops sign up for some of their little discounts you know the learning driver learner driver discounts or good grade discounts or something you get a you get a discount and that discount might only equal like five or ten dollars of the twenty that they bumped your bill up by just people of ourselves. I just got back from the lawyer's office. Handed them the camera that Shay was wearing when she got a bash. Told them to keep it. And I explained to him the situation. How it's been bloody nearly seven months. You know, it was September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Seven months nearly. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. There's a subscription button down there. And there's some extra videos over there if you want to check them out. Have a good one. Stay safe.